Have you ever looked at a fruit and wonder, what's going on with this thing? I mean, not this fruit, but this kind of fruit. Well, I have, as I'm sure many of you have. Let's take a look. Do you remember this? The rules of exponents that we learned back in algebra. Now, if you're wondering, what do they have to do with roots? Well, pretty much everything, kind of. Let's take an even closer look. Exponents, they come in many flavors, like natural, whole, integers, and even real. However, there is one kind of exponent that I did not mention, the rational ones. And I really mean rational, like one half or one third, for instance. If you remember how to combine rational numbers, you will quickly see that the good old rules of exponents hold for rational exponents as well. If you are wondering, well, why are these even important? Well, because numbers raised to and rational power, it's what's known as a root. For example, 2 to the power of 1 half is what we usually call the square root of 2, and we write this symbol to represent it. 2 to the power of 1 third would be a cube root, and we represent it like this. Just kidding, it's this. Now, with this in mind, you can quickly realize that dealing with roots is not really that complicated as long as you remember that they are simply numbers raised to a rational power, and that they obey the laws of exponents the same way you learned back in algebra. In fact, if the radix ever gives you any issue, you can always switch back to powers and happily work your way out. Oh yes, what's a radix you may wonder? This is a radix, and the value that sits beneath it is called the radicand, and the number it equals to is called the root. So for instance, the square root of 676 is 26. Also, what's commonly called a radical is an equation in which the root has not been determined yet. Here's an example x to the power of 2 is equal to 4, or x is equal to the square root of 4, is a radical expression. Rad, isn't it? Let me know if you have any questions about roots or any other subject. I really enjoy talking math all day and could easily enjoy clarifying your doubts. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for your support.